Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Today, we're going to be having a look at this map, Falls Creek. And we're going to see how you can potentially do some different things on it if you're driving a medium, a light, or a TD, rather than the same old, same old. Yeah, after all, it is a pretty old map. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the flyover. Right, this is Falls Creek. We all know what it looks like. And what we generally have, we generally have the heavy route from this spawn, the south spawn, looking in this direction. Now you may get a heavy park in south here. Um, I, it's not a good, it's not a bad place. Here's equally just as good. Alternatively, you may get a heavy going up here. You may also get a TD going up here. It's not a great spot for a TD unless he's got really good gun depression or frontal armor. But you will get heavies and TDs going up there. You may also get them park around this side here by this house. But that's, we're not looking at the heavy route. We know the heavy route. So what will the mediums do? Well, the mediums will normally go down this line here. And what they'll be looking to do, most of them will be looking to stick their sails on the top of that hill. Or, which is a better position, sticking themselves here. Now, if you've got a tank with good gun depression, again, and good frontal armor, this isn't a bad spot. You can push up onto this little ridge just to see if you can get the spots and then pull back. Some like to go up into this position thinking that the bush is going to give them a lot of cover. It really doesn't. That's from this spawn. What about the other spawn? This is the north spawn. And from this spawn, you normally get the heavies pushing along this route. You may get Wooden sticking himself by this house here, trying to side scrape off this. And you may get one coming around here, either up to the top there or just off this rock. The odd occasion, you may get them coming down around this house. Uh, which is not a great position, to be honest with you, but you do see it happen. TDs, well, you may get some TDs parking around here. You may get a TD around these houses here, side scraping off those if they can. You may even get a TD in this position here. So that's generally what you're going to find with the heavy route and the TDs. What about the lights and the mediums? Well, the lights and the mediums spawn around here. And again, pretty much like the south spawn, you will find them rushing along this route here, trying to get into that top positions there and there again. Now, this position here is not too bad. Again, if you've got a haul down tank with good frontal armor, then you can, you can do worse than being in this position. Again, you can get up here. Unlike the other side, this one's got a nice bigger rock that you can hide behind, to be honest with you. And you've got some cover behind you. But these are not the positions I want you to consider in either a TD or a medium or light. What I want you to consider from the south spawn is the following. Here we are back in the south spawn in approximately the place where your TD is going to spawn. And what you should be looking to do is try to get yourself along to this rock here. If you, especially if you've got your mediums going out to those positions that I showed you earlier. Because if you put yourself by this bush behind this rock, your heavies will spot anything that comes down that route, and your lights and mediums should spot anything coming down that route. If, however, you want to be a little bit more aggressive, then get yourself up to here, this building here. Because if your heavies spot anything, you've got good cover and... Funnily enough, you can get cross shots in. Now, if you're wanting to be adventurous in a medium or a light, you may want to come around this rock and go to this position here. That way, you will get anything, you will spot anything going along that route. And you may even get the spots down there. Plus, it's not a bad area. From the other spawn, normally spawn around here in a TD or a medium. So what you should be looking to do is, firstly, you can, if you want to, you can support your mediums and lights on this little ridge here. It's not a great position. It will give you cross shots if anything sticks itself up onto that ridge that we saw earlier. But that's about it. And it will also give you shots across there for their mediums and lights. However, I find a better position for your TD, in all fairness, is by this by this rock and sticking yourself up here that way you've got shots in and anything going down into the dip plus if anything comes that way you can shoot them there and you have an escape route down to here you can also stick a td here which is like the 
the, the flip side to what I showed you on the other spawn, you've got some good cover here and you can get the shots in. If they come down, the chances are you can get them in that little gap there. And if they go up, you can certainly get them in that gap there. And if they go into this dip, you've certainly got them. Plus, if you're a medium or a light, you may want to come here as well. Maybe not that far. Use the terrain because there's undulations. And if you've got a good haul down tank, you can get to this position. You'll still get the spots. and You'll spot anything crossing. And again, you will give your TDs a much needed view. So that's the overview. What does it look like in Strat Sketch? So we're going to disregard the heavies for the moment. The reason being is because the heavies generally all go in the same direction. And that direction is normally towards this cap. Be it from the north spawn or be it from the south spawn. They're all going that way. What I want to look at in the first instance is the TDs and the lights. So remember, your TDs from this spawn are going to, are going to spawn here. And your mediums and lights will spawn around here. So what we want to be doing in real terms is, if you can, get one of your TDs to go from there and maybe park itself there. Alternatively, you can go along here and park yourself in this position. Now, there's a reason for that, because, because I'm expecting your mediums and lights, at least one of them, to be heading in this direction, probably to around this part. You may want to go there, but here you're going to get spots equally as well. Your other medium or light, in real terms, could go to this position here. Now, the reason being is because these heavies here are going to spot anything that comes into there. This medium may get any tanks coming across that route there. I'm not saying it's perfect, okay? Now, from the other side of the map, you can do pretty much the same thing. You can send one of your lights or mediums down to this route and another one up to this position here which is nice and hauled down your tds well if you really wanted to you can put one around this position and you can put the other one around this position that allows you some mobility now how does that work in practice well that's exactly what we're going to see in this next replay where i'm playing a waffle uh, a wt in tier 9 it's a td a german td i'm playing it from the south spawn or or more importantly this green spawn right here as you can see we've spawned exactly where i said we would spawn down in between the two spawn points and what i'm going to do initially is take this wt out towards that first position that i showed you this big rock pile here now the reason i do this is because as a td you can give covering support to both the left and the right. Now you can see that the mediums are already up there, which is good. Anything coming that way, they're going to spot, and the heavies have spotted the heavies coming down from the red spawn. So I'm in a pretty decent position here. I've just noticed that the mediums are spotting nothing. That allows me to move forward. And what I'm gonna do now is take a pretty advanced and quite aggressive position for this little TD. But there is method in my madness, because now almost the entire map, to an extent, is wide open for me with decent cover. I can see that the heavies are not pushing on my team, which is good. I can see that the mediums on my team are keeping that VK spotted. Now, if there's anything in that gap that comes up, I can smack it. Here we have a CC Mark 1 getting incredibly aggressive straight down into the dip. He wants to push. That is going to allow me to reposition myself to get cross shots into him. And this is the thing. The idea being in these positions here, we're trying to get those cross shots. I am going to be able to put really nice cross shots into this CC Mark 1. There goes number 1. He can't do anything about it. Now, if they wanted to, my heavies could realistically push down onto that CC. The other team have already lost a Tiger too. Now, I'm not saying that this strat works every and each and every time, but when you've got teams like this and you know that they're all going to go down that heavy line, those heavies are generally going to go down that heavy line, you are pretty much sort of in a good position to anticipate that. We are now able to come up behind them. Our heavies can push through, the mediums can push down the other flank, 
And now we've got complete map control. They have got zero hope in Hal's chance of winning this battle now. They've lost two tanks, a big TD and a pretty decent heavy. Now they've lost another TD. And they are literally caught in a cauldron here. They are being pushed by their heavies on the right. They're being pushed by the mediums on the left. And that's allowing me to come up through the center from the position I took earlier and absolutely decimate them. And that is what we talk about when we talk about map control. It's not always a good idea to go the same old route. Throw it around a bit. Find alternatives to put your tank. Now, this is not a great position, I must admit. You know, that opening position, not a great position for a heavy tank. But it's ideal for a TD or a light or a medium. As you can see there, we aren't setting the world on fire. We do 3k in damage, which I'm pretty happy with. It's pretty low for a WT. We killed three tanks. We damaged five. We get a second class. And I'm happy with that game. And the idea of the game is to win. The idea of the game is always to win. It's not about other things. And as you can see there, I was playing with Mini Fujit, my, my lad. We are top damage. He is second damage, just shy of 2k. We therefore spearheaded that that charge that was a nice game and that's what i'm saying this is the sort of stuff you can do on falls creek rolling back out again onto falls creek we're going to take a similar position this time we're in a tier 6 td the kiros now i played this one on the stream and i said on the stream that i was going to go to this position because i was doing this video okay it doesn't always work i admit that because you get tanks like that t3485 coming up through the middle he's going to be able to spot you but, and this is the thing I like about this particular position, you can still be rather dominant. To be honest with you, I mean, look, everything is basically spotted. I'm in a particularly open position here, I, I admit, and I have to reevaluate. But anything pushing down, you are going to be able to smack. And that is the thing about this position. Okay, we get smacked from the left there because there's a Skoda and a 40 TP. But we're still able to back away. Now, the Kiros is a little bit of a strong tank. I'm not going to lie. It's not like the Waffle Traeger. But the thing about this tank, and if you've got a tank that's got really good gun depression, you can still hold these ridgelines. You can still be dominant around this side of the map. And it's not just this side. If the mediums were, or the lights, for example, were pushing through the back of the map in that normal position, you are still able to turn around and take the opposite side of this ridge. It's it's actually a really good spot. We've already done, we haven't done massive. We've done 800 damage. We've taken a kill, but we're able to get the shots in. And that is the thing about this position. You're not out in the open like you would be in the other positions. You haven't got the heavies coming down the heavy route onto you like you would in the normal TD positions on this map. You are relatively protected and more importantly, to me anyway, you are in control of the map. You have map control. They have got to push you. Even if they want the base, they've still got to come out into the open. And that is why I think this position, especially if you're in a TD, should be the position that you should be looking to go to. Okay, in a medium or a light, maybe you should go here to get those spots of them crossing. But as a TD, definitely think that this position is one of the better positions on this particular map. You may not agree with me. You may disagree. But we've just farmed almost 2k of damage here. And that's a big deal you know, on games like this, on maps like this. Change it around. Stop going to the same old, same old routes. Look at other parts of the map. And if you know your maps and you know those sort of OP positions, you will suddenly start to have better fun on certain maps in better tanks. So that's what I'm saying. We've seen two replays. I think it's a relatively good position. It's not going to work in every game. It's not a copy paste every single game. Of course it's not. You have to evaluate the game as it plays out. It may be a position you want to go to first off, but you have to change your tactics as the game progresses. Either way, you know, give it a bash if you're in a TD, especially if you're in a TD that's got pretty good gun depression and is pretty mobile. 
I have fun in this position. No doubt you will. We did 2.2k in the end. Take four kills. Could be worse. I mean, that worked out pretty nicely. And as you saw, they came through the middle and we were still able to hold that line. So that's my overall guide to alternatives on Falls Creek, especially for TDs and mediums and lights. It may not work for heavies, but give it a go. These are different positions. It's, it's, it's interesting Falls Creek because everybody goes that way and everybody goes that way. And there's this massive area of the map that's untouched. So next time you play this in a TD, give those positions a go. Obviously, if your team is going in an opposite direction, then be careful because you, you're going to get caught short. So be mindful of that. Keep your eye on the minimap. Anyway, that's been my quick take on Falls Creek for TDs and mediums and lights. I've been Fuji. By all means, comment in everything below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And until the next time, guys, I hope that's been useful. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, you know, that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.